Let's do this. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Megan. If you are new, welcome to my channel. Don't forget to hit that red subscribe button before I get started. So in today's video, I'm gonna be going over my tattoos, what they mean to me, what they are, and the pain level. So let's just go ahead and get right into the video. So my first tattoo I ever got, I was 18 years old and I got it on my back. And I'll go ahead and insert a photo here. The tattoo is part of a poem. It is the Footprints in the Sand poem. And it is my favorite part where it says, it was then that I carried you. My mom actually has the same exact tattoo on her hip. And I wanted my first tattoo to be with my mom, something that kind of resembles both of us and everything that we have been through individually and together. And this poem, I absolutely love, she absolutely loves. So I just thought like, what better fit than to get part of the poem on our bodies forever. So um, I'm not gonna go into all the details of my past with my mother and my life but this tattoo just means a lot to me one because my mom has it and it resembles a lot that we went through my mom she is my rock and i am hers we have each other's back through thick and thin always are supporting each other through anything in life so i'm so happy that was my first tattoo and that i got it with her my second tattoo is on my wrist. It is a sunflower. I really wanted a sunflower because they are my favorite. I love the meaning behind them. And I wanted to get a flower because my mother has one on her wrist and my aunt as well. They will have it on their wrist. I'm gonna go ahead and put mine on my wrist. And yeah, so sunflowers are my favorite flower. They're always looking on the brighter side. It's not my favorite tattoo, but I mean, I love sunflowers and I love that my mom and my aunt have similar flowers on their wrists and just kind of connects us all together. My third tattoo is on my hip and it looks like, sorry, I've been sitting in these pants for a while. This is it right here. It is just a pink rose and the writing for the stem says, we love you. And this tattoo means a lot to me because a pink rose is my great grandmother's favorite flower and the handwriting is her handwriting. So I really wanted to get something in her honor. She has, she's not passed, but she is 92 years old. And I just wanted something, a piece of her on my body. And I wanted to get it while she was still alive so that I could show her, hey, this is on my body for you forever. And when I showed her, she absolutely loved it. She was in shock, but I mean, every time I see her now, she always brings it up. And I'll insert a picture of me showing her the tattoo. And as for pain levels, I would put my back at probably a five. I would put my wrist at a one. I w didn't really feel anything. I mean, of course I felt something, but it was not bad at all. The one on my hip, I would put more at a seven, but it wasn't so bad that I needed to hold anyone's hand or squinch my face. Um, but everyone's pain level is different. The one on my hip, my sister actually has the same exact one in the same exact spot and she had a pretty difficult time with it. So that is it for my tattoos and I do want a few more. The next one I wanted is actually on my foot. I don't know exactly when I'll be doing that. Probably not anytime soon because I'm scared. I hate needles. I just hate them. But I love tattoos so like I want to keep getting them. Um. I've been thinking about the one on my foot for quite some time now, so I might go do that here soon one day, but then again, I might not. <laughs> I'm indecisive, what can I say? So yeah, so I do want that one for my next tattoo, and I do want a few more, 
but when I get tattoos, I like to think on them for at least a few months to maybe a year. The one on my back, I thought about since I was 16. And then when I finally turned 18, I was like, hey, mom, like, let's go do this. The one on my wrist, I thought about for maybe three months. And then I was just like, one eye out of the random, I was like, let's just go and do it. And then the one on my hip, I knew I wanted something for my grandmother. Um, I didn't think too long on this one. I asked her what her favorite flower was, and I found all my birthday cards that she had ever written me. So I just took what she wrote, and I was like, hey, put that on me, and let's get this flower going. So I didn't think too long on that one. I just knew I wanted something for my grandma. So that is all my tattoos, and that is the end of this video. If you liked it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you are not subscribed already, hit that red subscribe button, and leave me a comment below what you want to see next from me. I'm completely stumped on what to do next, so go ahead and leave some suggestions in the comments below, and I will see you guys the next one. Bye, y'all.